Welcome to Murphy, Sam, and Jody after the show. Um, there has been some upset in the world of, I guess, holidays and entertainment. And someone on our Facebook Tradition. page asked us to discuss it. So let's just do it Do it here in the After the Show podcast. The What's fact that, that um, the, great, the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, I guess any of the Charlie Brown peanuts specials yeah. will not be airing on regular network TV this year for the first time in ever. Yeah, since like 66. <laughs> <laughs> it's the longest that they, yeah, they did it. Yeah. And the reason being is that they moved to Apple. They struck a deal with, with Apple, Apple TV, Plus, Apple, Apple TV. Plus. So they will be appearing there throughout the holiday season, but not on regular TV. Now, yeah. the good news is if it's like, well, I don't have the DVDs and it's a tradition, uh, the folks at Apple TV said there are going to be a couple of days for each of those where it's free. Where anybody can go on and watch them, stream them for free. It's yeah, like I saw two that. Days each. The- the great pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch that he sings. Yeah, I understand why some people would be upset, but I mean, the truth is, these shows aren't free, and so if mm-hmm. if Apple outbids CBS for it, yeah, that's and and yeah, and the other truth is, we don't consume TV the same way that we used to. Not at all. Broadcast is not. It, it, you can't differentiate broadcast TV from anything else that you Streaming. can get on the screen right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, with so many people using Hulu and Netflix and all that, so. I would suspect the only people who are complaining and concerning about it are older people, not Also, I think they're misinformed about it because what I saw online was the, the, again, the feeling before the facts. Like before you read the facts of what happened, your feeling is that, oh, you're taking something away from me. And is it because you're trying to censor out, you know, whatever the, the heart or the... It's not like it's religious, but I guess well, the Christmas the, stuff the Christmas is a little bit religious. Christmas when Linus quotes some scriptures. Exactly, so, yeah. because Schultz was that way, yeah. you know, had Christian, you know, a background. So wait, there's some background. people that are having that have issues with that. I've Pardon? read online, and that's online. That's just people, you know, typing up what they feel. I think the networks are censoring it because there's Christian values in it. And right? It's like, no, it's, it's like just it all was, a business. It was deal. a corporate bidding war, actually. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. And, and the thing <laughs> is, it's like I understand the sentimentality because when I was a kid, kid we watched it but that like you said murphy that was then this is now well that was the only way we could get it we didn't care about how we got it we just got it right so and And now you probably have it on dvd or blu-ray or like just like the rudolph stuff well (sighs) or you can buy it as a download there's so many different ways you can do that it's funny because there are so many people that mourn that we used to make appointments and go we had you know a certain night to watch it and i recall that you know, being a puddle on the floor because Rudolph always broke my heart. I identified with Rudolph like you would not believe. Yeah. I felt like a misfit child, so I was with him. I was like going on that journey. When he ran away right before the commercial and he's on the ice block and he's going, I cried every year. Right I'm like, I'm going to run away too. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, and so it was an event yeah. to watch that. My mom would be like, it's coming on tonight, so I'm going to make your dinner early and you can go watch yeah. it. I'm like, yay, okay. Um, but that's not how it's done. In fact, it's a world of instant gratification. When I want to watch it, I'm going to log on and watch it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. instant gratification is not necessarily good for all of us yeah. as far as just, you know, learning patience or appointment setting and stuff like that. But, well, Look, I, I, I understand that, you know anybody has trouble with change, and it's probably mm. it's probably amplified a little bit because it's holiday season related. Mm. You know what I mean? So You're there's right. like, there's like extra emotion in it. It's childhood emotion, <sighs> it's holiday emotion, and it's all those things. Yeah. So you know, for anybody that grew up with it, it as we did, you know, I mean, it's change and this stuff. year. It's almost like we feel like we, we are this owed. Year. We need some heart and soul this year. Yeah, we really do. We've yeah. all felt like we're just. You know, on the edge of losing it. Now, one of the so. cool things about it, too, is part of the deal is um, the, the studio or whoever owns the peanut stuff is going to be creating new stuff for Apple+. Plus. So oh, we will be wow. getting new things. There's yeah. a series called Snoopy in Space or something. Mm-hmm. That's going to be launching on there as well. Nice. So they will have more new stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the old wholesome things. It's- have they shown the... Um- previews of any of the new stuff yet Mm-mm. that's the only one i know it. of is the snoopy everything is cyclical i i really believe that there will be a time when i don't know i just feel like charlie brown can never really yeah. we can't ever really outgrow that i will tell you a funny quick little story that my cousin crystal told me one year um she was upset to find out see um her daughter um addy how old would you say addy is 12 now yeah is addy 11 or 12 a couple of years ago probably quite a few years ago when addy was little um 
Crystal showed her a picture of Charlie Brown or Charlie Brown came across the, the screen mm. and, and Addie goes, is that Caillou? No. And Crystal oh, was like, right. oh, oh, yeah. we got to change some stuff. We're going to introduce you to some no, other stuff. I'm sorry. Caillou was a wimp. <laughs> this is Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown kind of got the short end of the stick, though, too, right? He just didn't come off as he wasn't whiny. <laughs> No, he wasn't whiny. I mean, he went to kick the ball, and he kept falling on his back. He was human. Yeah. He He was human. Throw the pitch, and he'd get hit by the line drive. And that's life. But he kept at it. That's right. He never gave up. So the only thing I guess that will also be missing from Apple TV is this. Which was the lead-in for any special. Well, at least you have your finger on the button all the time, You can always make it a ringtone.